Archie Bell, jazz, blues, funk legend, formed the group. Archie Bell and the Drells recorded the, one of the all-time classics, international hits, Tighten Up, Tonight, performing live at the Continental Club here in Houston, Texas. And tonight, our special guest is Archie Bell on Charles Snyder's show. In 1968, Archie Bell and the Drells record Tighten Up, number one on the charts, international classic, international hit at the time. Right. Then your career was interrupted when they called up your number right. and uh, sent to Vietnam. What was it like being Archie Bell, being a well-known singer, well-known yeah. performer with a hit song during your tour? Right. Well, uh, first the record started in this 1967 when we recorded Tighten Up. Now, when Tighten Up with Yola was 68, I was uh, I went to Fort Polk, Louisiana. I went down and got one of those greetings from Uncle Sam. <laughs> went down to an uh, induction station at 5.30 that evening. I was on my way to Fort Polk, Louisiana. And uh, I didn't really go to Vietnam. Everybody in my unit, except me and another guy, everybody else went straight to Vietnam after AIT training. And after that, uh, I was, we went straight to Germany. The guys thought I had a connection, a hook of some kind of way to keep them going, but it was just one of those things that happened, just like everything else happened to me. But the, the biggest thing was uh, tightening up, hit so big, and I was in the Army making $135 a month, uh, losing $50,000 a night. <laughs> that wasn't too much fun, but you know, it, was, it was exciting, it was great, it was something different and new. I would be remiss if I didn't ask, what is the Tighten Up dance? Well, this is a little dance. Uh, I won't be able to display it to you now, but you'll be able to see me do it over at the club tonight. But it was a little dance that uh, everybody used back in the day. They used Tighten Up like they used Word Up or Right On, you know. It was a slang word. So. Okay. But a friend of mine, uh, I was kind of feeling down when I got those greetings from Uncle Sam. And a friend of mine at the time, a guy named Billy Butler, we was rooming together. He came in and started doing this little dance. And I asked him, uh, what was he doing? You know, made me forget about my problems right then. I asked him, what was he doing? He said he was doing the tighten up, so that's how I got the idea. He was the right to song tighten up. But it was a slang word, and uh, the dancers, uh, one thing, we did it went to the north side of the town, they did it different. On the west side, they did it different. but. We would always get the people up on the stage and show them how they did the tight up, and then we would show our verse, you know. Very interactive. Yeah, yeah. Got to, you have to have the people to participate. You know, people are always saying there's nothing like the old blues, nothing like the old funk. Right. What's your opinion of uh, music today? Well, a lot of the music is good, but uh, when the computer came along, well, then anybody could do it. Anybody could, you know, go in and push buttons and manipulate the, the whole scene, but uh, the old school, see I grew up here in Houston, Texas, I was born in Henderson, Texas, in East Texas, up, up north, you know, and uh, when I moved to Houston, I was about nine months old, but I always checked out all the old blues singers, Lightning Hopkins, Muddy Waters, and Holland Wolf, you know, all those old blues singers, you know, but uh, the music today is, some of it's good, but some of it be just passing fancies, you know. I got lucky with Tighten Up just to put my name, you know, out there, get my name out there, but it's more to uh, more to me than just Tighten Up. I do a gospel, I had never did any Christmas music, but I'm doing gospel. Just decided to do a blues album. Ah. And, uh, you know, try diff something different. You know, when my time is up, I'm, I would like to be like Ray Charles. Ray Charles did a little everything, you know, and that's what I was doing, but I cut my teeth on the, on the blues and I grew up listening to Hank Williams, Jim Reeves, Hank Snow, Marty Robbins, you know, people like that. Back in the days, you know, I remember I used to ride around in a little humpback four with my grandfather and he, uh, hey, good looking, and Jim Reeves, <laughs> stuff like that. And I always loved country music, you know, but that wasn't an a avenue or open door for that. But I got lucky here recently. I just did uh, Bob Wills' 100th year anniversary. Mm -hmm. Oh, which, really? Yeah, I just did uh, one of the songs. He had, uh, I think, about 25 artists. Glenn Campbell, Tanya Tucker, um, Terry Bradshaw, Richard Brimley, oh, just so many people. Uh, B.J. Thomas, 
and uh, I got a chance to record. I did the one uh, warm red wine, which I always loved. So, mm -hmm. and I always did love, love Bob Wills and the Texas Playboys and many of the other artists. You know, Gene Autry, Tex Ritter. You know, and by by right, I'm a natural born cowboy. I'm from Texas. That's right. East Texas. That's right. <laughs> my grandfather always had uh, horses. Callen, and a lot of my people still raising cattle and horses up in East Texas now. I know nowadays, or back then as well as now, touring worldwide, I know you have an international fan base, fan clubs all over the world. Right. Are we talking more like Denmark, France, Germany, or like Japan, Hong you Kong, name, mainland name, China? You name it. Uh, China just opened up, you know. Uh, uh, Behind the Iron Curtain, Poland, Venezuela, every major country in the world had played tight up. I went to Saudi Arabia, <laughs> went to Japan, and when I was in Japan, I was number one Hashito. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I really enjoyed Brazil, Africa. You know, Africa just blew my mind when I went to Africa and got a chance to go to Lagos, Nigeria, or places like West Africa, Senegal, you know, and places like that, Ivory Coast. It was amazing, you know, it's just like going home, you know, when you see people who resemble the same people you just left here in America that look like it'll be your brothers, your cousins, your family, and met a many wise men. <laughs> Speaking of which, who, what, what other notables have you crossed paths with during your career? Did you ever meet Red Fox? Sure, I worked with Red Fox, Little Richard, Elvis Presley, Frank Sinatra. You name it, you name it. I've been on the stage, I've been on a venue with them. I had met them personally. Uh, it was really amazing. When Tighten Up came out, everybody wanted to see what the guys from Houston, Texas looked like. You know, you know, Jane Brown and Steve Wonder was going up the chart. Mm -hmm. When Tighten Up, I think uh, Jane Brown was number one, Steve was number two. But when Tighten Up got up there and stayed, I guess 26 weeks, well, you know, they never made me number one. <laughs> Jane Bond even came to see us at Apollo and, you know, a few places that we entertained. You mentioned uh, Blues Album coming up. What else is coming up in your career, sir? Well, I'm hoping to uh, maybe uh, do a movie story of my life, let people know how this business really is. Will you play yourself? Well, you know, I played the elder. You know, I played the elder. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, I, when, when I get it six and over, I'll be able to play that part. But I could find somebody, you know, young men. There's a lot of young men talented who could, you know, play the roles of upcoming now. Might be one of the guys from American Idol. Uh, you know, plays with, it's a lot of good talent and everything. But most of the time, it's, it's like a popularity contest. It's the people who voted off shouldn't really be. And nobody should be able to vote a number of the time. One vote only. That's a good. That's a good point. Yeah. That's a good point. We are looking forward to your performance right. next door at Continental Club. This has been an honor, sir. I've been a fan since college. I hear. We were throwing a party, and one of my roommates showed up with some CD. And I want to say classic funk or greatest <laughs> funk. So we partied all night to tighten up. Right. And I think every single one of us got our flirt on that night. I hear. You. <laughs> Well, I, I know a lot of guys uh, tell me about tying up when they was in this military. A lot of people, uh, a lot of musicians I ran into, drummers, the bass player, whatever, they say that was the first song they learned to play on the instrument. So I was really impressed about that. You know, it was really great knowing that your music is, you know, still alive. And Janet Jackson did uh, tighten up on uh, her CD, Velvet Rope, and so many other young artists that's covering the song now, coming to tune. My it, goodness. It's really great. We are honored, sir. Praise it's been a real pleasure. Don't Thank be, you very much. Don't forget to tighten up. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Archie Bell, very special guest on Charles Snyder's show, will be back. <laughs>